Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this while it lasted, because it's gone. So, we have had our first balance patch for Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree 1.12.3. It's not colossal, but that's because it's not a weapon, it's a patch. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's certainly significant, and it is primarily nerfs and fixing a lot of the obviously broken stuff. So, Swift Slash getting a nerf in a PvP, that is absolutely fine. It's ridiculous. This is very exciting. Increased scaling on the Carrion Sorcery Sword is lovely, and something that really was needed, because it was kind of a joke, so that's exciting and definitely something that needs testing. Throwing range up on uh, the Swift Script Dagger and Cirque, that's just kind of fine. The dagger did need it, to be fair. You essentially had to be near melee range and they already do pathetic damage. And then a change of boss fight placement is just whatever. The bug fixes are where it gets juicy, or sad, depending on your disposition. Rolling Sparks has been annihilated. Like, seriously. Combined with uh, the uh, lightning bottle double damage bug going away too, we've gone from, like, hitting for 30k for hitting to 300. So... Yeah, that's, uh, that dream is, is royally dead. We also have uh, the brief return of the right-hand weapon buff affecting uh, the left-hand bug in the form of the Frenzy Torch and uh, the Smith Script Shield instantly addressed, so uh, no more Royal Knights Resolve Discus Hurls, which is a real shame, because that was honestly quite fun. This one, however, is just a really good fix, primarily for PvP, where everyone was holding up the torch and death blighting each other in PvE, didn't really matter too much because the build-up was too slow, but hey, I understand why it's happened. Thrusting shields are indeed now tuned to be, you know, properly using stamina when you're poking while blocking. It essentially made you immortal while doing really good consistent damage, so that's definitely something that I understand that they addressed, but it is a little bit of a shame because it was really, really fun. A lot of people thought this one was actually just a nice little tech, but it turns out was unintended, so rolling out of the 200 strong attacks is gone. Then, uh, yes, the perfume bottles, once again, actually addressed. Then we have Bloodfiend's arm looked at. Uh, the uh, bleed has been reduced on specifically the heavy attack, and the scaling itself is higher than intended. Really? Whoa, no one, no one saw that coming. However, this doesn't actually seem to have knocked it down that much. It still does ridiculous damage, it still does ridiculous bleed, and it's basically taken it from like S++ broken tier to just S plus broken tier. So this one is a kind of a non-factor. Then we have face scaling on the gazing finger now applying. That's interesting. That might actually make it do some okay-ish damage because it already did some okay-ish damage. Then uh, the uh, great sword is uh, presumably getting looked at uh, when uh, the double L1 is guaranteed against players. So a more a PvP change than anything like that. Then a little touch up to the Fire Knight's great sword where yes, yeah, some of the affinities were a little bit uh, weirdly potent. So that's a shame, though that said, it's still a really good weapon, and uh, then the, this one actually is a real shame, a lot of these weapons were just kind of really lame and anticlimactic to begin with, and having uh, this uh, extra affinity was a really nice way to at least use some of them, and if you didn't know, certain infusions when applied to these from uh, the Ash of Warrior set just really spiked the damage weirdly in a way that you don't get on other weapons, but they still just aren't quite good enough most of the time, so uh, I do hope that they actually get some buffs in a later, bigger, more major patch. Then we've got uh, some uh, black knife tiche uh, changes, which isn't too huge, and just generally another little uh, selection of bug fixes that aren't too huge, though the golden hip and bottom is hitbox being a little bit adjusted is also nice as well. That said, though, 
a lot of things that need fixing haven't actually been fixed. There's a lot of uh, spells, weapon skills that just straight up don't function how they seemingly should at the moment, and they've not been addressed, and there is a lot of things that are way too weak, and they just didn't get touched in the balance adjustments. A lot of things are essentially unusable with how they currently are, which is a real shame. I hope this is just an instant, you know, band-aid fix to the things that obviously need it, while actually still preparing a proper big meaty patch that's going to have a bajillion changes across all the weapons. Also, I am blown away the Thorn's Bleed Sorcery somehow survived. For now, though, like you've enjoyed this, let me know what your thoughts are. Any changes you want to see? Are you upset at the uh, fixes that have happened? Or are you like, fair enough, especially with the perfume sparks? In any case, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bring entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment yes I said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye